Hey guys, it's Ninja Bubble Hundred, and today welcome back to a brand new mod showcase video. Where today I'll be showcasing the Rope Bridge mod. So as you can see, this is kind of the product of what is made after you shoot, shoot kind of like a, a, a bridge out of this gun. So, right, how do you actually make this gun? And just kind of like a disclaimer, this does of course use quite a lot of ammo. You will need thirty-three planks I think and 17 string to actually build one of these um, in the first place to be shot at and you'll need that all in your inventory I believe um, uh, when you shoot um, a bridge out of this thing okay that, that'll explain why I have such an ample amount of oak wood sl uh, slabs and string in my inventory so there are three different parts the first part is the grab gun stock um, and it's simply made as shown here so let's just make this super quickly um this and this here here and obviously these two pieces of wood it doesn't matter what configuration or what um which what types of wood they are uh, there could be any types of wood um so that doesn't really matter and we just simply need some even even more iron and then we need even more iron to make the grab gun hook so you got the barrel there okay so Let's just make this. Got a skeleton wandering around there. Uh, okay, the barrel. And it's quite nice because it actually fits together really well in your inventory like that. If you've got the parts. And then we've got the uh, the hook. Really basic um, crafting as well, which is really good. Okay, now you just put it in the crafting table as, so, as shown. And voila, you've got yourself a brand new grappling gun. Yeah. Um, okay. So, um, here's an example of a bridge I made earlier, um, and it actually looks really good. It's aesthetically pleasing, which I quite like, and yeah. So, let's go through the process of actually shooting a grappling gun. So, let's just go on over to um, survival. Okay, so, say you want to shoot, you hold down the right um, mouse button, and there is a limited range. I think it was about 33 blocks or something. Um, and the limited slope it can achieve, but say you want to build a bridge here, you literally shoot, and it just literally just builds over really nice and fast, and it's got nice textures on the side there, and it uses up, yep, 34 oak wood slabs, and I think that's like, so t I'm, I'm not good for maths today, guys, um, I think it used up like 16, seriously joke, it used up like 18. Something like that, 18 string, and yeah, so you can just simply make your way across like this and you're on your way. And this is a really good mod for kind of long distance um, style, kind of like um, treks in Minecraft or something. So this is quite a nice thing to have. And it also may, uh, maybe, say you have a castle in a world or something, or a thing like a house on top of a hill, and then there's another hill maybe with your friend's house on. You know, you just want to pop over there, see how they are. So you just build a bridge over and maybe leave it there for as long as you want. However, if there's a point in your Minecraft world or a point in time where you want to get rid of these um, bridges, all you have to do is, I mean, I'll just break these just for easier access. So you go here, you, um, you shift or you just crouch and then you break this end one. I guess not. Um, you just crouch and you break it. I guess not. <laughs> Guys, wait. <laughs> I'll, I'll be, um, one moment. Well, I, <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Okay, anyway, guys, trust me, earlier oh, this was working. I bet it will work with this one over here. Nope. Right. Anyway, trust me, that's kind of how you get rid of it, and it literally, like, disappears if it did, like, the first time, first time, and it's all pretty nice and dandy. Anyway, yes, yeah, so it uses about, um, Use a few slabs, and of course, as they break, all of the um, all of the items that was made from originally will drop, which I kind of feel is a bit of a shame, because it will all drop down there. Then, if you want to retrieve them to build future bridges, then you actually have to go back down the crater and retrieve all of the slabs and all of the um, all of the string that you were hoping to use the bridge to build and you were hoping just to use the bridge but it seems a bit counterproductive 
the fact that you kind of have to go down there to pick all the items up just to get the bridge to disappear. And I mean, that's kind of what I think, how I feel. Anyway, yep, so that's pretty much that. Let's head on back over into um, creative. So that's pretty much how it goes. Um, and it should kind of like, um, you should be able to like kind of like crouch and it'll break. Anyway, that's pretty much how this mod works. And um, I hope you guys try out yourselves. I think it's a really good mod um, for kind of uh, long distance tracks in Minecraft and in the Minecraft world. I think it works quite well. But having to kind of retrieve all of the blocks after they've been destroyed after trying to get rid of the bridge to make your world look a bit more aesthetically pleasing or just trying to remove it from a certain thing and wanting to keep those blocks isn't exactly the easiest and it's a kind of a bit of a, a, a kind of a fee you have to pay for traveling around the world a lot easier and it's not necessarily very cheap but if you're willing to do it it might be worth it so I'm kind of curious how what's the kind of range okay so I can do it across there and it goes across really nicely there. I really like the way it dips down a bit. That looks really nice. Um, does it go into water? Hmm, let's have a little look, hey. Oh, wow, I even built a bridge that far away. That's nice. Okay. Let's build a bridge there. What's going Oh, slope is too great. Okay, that's an example of what I had before. Ah, see, you can have lots of different crisscrossy. See, I can even walk under that one. And so you can have kind of like a town, maybe a floating town or something with this kind of this kind of bridge in. Instead of having slabs and having to use up all that time, I guess it's really nice for builds as well. Um, that's a really positive note as well. Does it go into, ah, it goes into water, but then there's a bit of like an air block around it. A bit of an air gap around it. So that's a really nice part of this mod, and I think it works really well, actually. Um, and it looks aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, all uh, downloads will be in the description below, and all of those links will be in the description below. And if there are any mods you want me to see, um, want to see me kind of um, do showcases on, please say so in the comments below, as I'll do my best to do them. And I'll see you in the next video.